This tutorial shows how to load and pre-process an image dataset in three ways. First, you will use high-level Keras pre-processing utilities, such as tf.keras.utils.image underscore dataset underscore from underscore directory, and layers, such as tf.keras.layers, rescaling, to read a directory of images on disk. Next, you will write your own input pipeline from scratch using tf.data. Finally, you will download a dataset from the large catalog available in TensorFlow datasets. This tutorial uses a dataset of several thousand photos of flowers. The flowers dataset contains five subdirectories, one per class. After downloading 218 megabytes, you should now have a copy of the flower photos available. Each directory contains images of that type of flower. Here are some roses. Let's load these images off disk using the helpful tf.keras.utils.image underscore dataset underscore from underscore directory utility. It's good practice to use a validation split when developing your model. You will use 80% of the images for training and 20% for validation. You can find the class names in the class underscore names attribute on these datasets. Here are the first nine images from the training dataset. You can train a model using these datasets by passing them to model. Fit, shown later in this tutorial. If you like, you can also manually iterate over the dataset and retrieve batches of images. The image underscore batch is a tensor of the shape 32, 180, 180, 3. This is a batch of 32 images of shape 180 by 180 by 3, the last dimension refers to color channels RGB. The label underscore batch is a tensor of the shape, 32, these are corresponding labels to the 32 images. The RGB channel values are in the, 0, 255, range. This is not ideal for a neural network, in general you should seek to make your input value small. Here, you will standardize values to be in the, 0, 1, range by using tf.keras.layers, rescaling. There are two ways to use this layer. You can apply it to the dataset by calling dataset.map. Or, you can include the layer inside your model definition to simplify deployment. You will use the second approach here. Configure the dataset for performance. Let's make sure to use buffered prefetching so you can yield data from disk without having I.O. become blocking. These are two important methods you should use when loading data. Dataset.cache keeps the images in memory after they're loaded off disk during the first epoch. This will ensure the dataset does not become a bottleneck while training your model. If your dataset is too large to fit into memory, you can also use this method to create a performant on disk cache. Dataset.prefetch overlaps data preprocessing and model execution while training. For completeness, you will show how to train a simple model using the datasets you have just prepared. The sequential model consists of three convolution blocks, tf.keras.layers, conv2d, with a max pooling layer, tf.keras.layers.max pooling 2d, in each of them. There's a fully connected layer, tf.keras.layers, dense, with 128 units on top of it that is activated by a ReLU activation function, ReLU. This model has not been tuned in any way, the goal is to show you the mechanics using the datasets you just created. Choose the tf.keras.optimizers, atom optimizer and tf.keras.losses.sparse categorical cross-entropy loss function. To view training and validation accuracy for each training epoch, pass the metrics argument to model.compile. The above Keras preprocessing utility, tf.keras.utils.image underscore dataset underscore from underscore directory, is a convenient way to create a tf.data dataset from a directory of images. For finer grain control, you can write your own input pipeline using tf.data. This section shows how to do just that, beginning with the file paths from the tgz file you downloaded earlier. Split the dataset into training and validation sets. Write a short function that converts a file path to an IMG label pair. Use dataset.map to create a dataset of image label pairs. 
To train a model with this dataset you will want the data. To be well shuffled. To be batched. Batches to be available as soon as possible. These features can be added using the tf.data API. You can visualize this dataset similarly to the one you created previously. You have now manually built a similar tf.data dataset to the one created by tf.caras.utils.image underscore dataset underscore from underscore directory above. You can continue training the model with it. As before, you will train for just a few epochs to keep the running time short. 